Do you believe then that NATO, the West, including this country, should supply more and more powerful military hardware to Ukraine, including jets? Or should they worry, as some do worry, about Russia escalating to the use of a nuclear device? Uh, look, John, I do not want to sound cavalier. There is, of course, a non-negligible threat that um, uh, Russia could escalate, uh, including ultimately through the use of nuclear force. Uh, I don't believe that they will, though. Um, the reality is China and India have warned against it. The West um, have warned of massive retaliation, and it makes, I think, little military sense. And what really would be an error is for us to demonstrate to Putin that we were in some way constrained by these threats and to react to them, as is often the case, particularly, I think, in Europe and, and specifically Germany. And of course, that mm. is just going to embolden him to issue more and greater threats and make the situation more dangerous. There is no evidence that he's actually physically preparing to deploy these weapons. So it's, it's in the price. It is a risk. But um, of course, the, uh, the much greater risk, to my mind, is that um, this isn't brought to an end um, with Russia being seen to have failed in Ukraine. And that needs to be our aim. I say in Ukraine, this is not about some civilizational battle with Russia, but that is the settled war aim of the West. And we need to provide the material consistent with that. I think that logic will essentially prevail. We will see, I think, more doubling down on the sort of weapon systems that are being provided now. Um, and I think um, the Ukrainians have shown a particular genius for, for using them. Ukraine is crying out for combat planes, very specifically. Are you saying, because you seem to, that we should be supplying as many combat planes as we can and as quickly as we can? Well, look, I, I am saying that in principle, um, this needs to be finished on our terms and that we should not allow ourselves to be um, uh, inhibited by the threats issued by Vladimir Putin. I do respect the technical argument that it would take a long time to get um, uh, these these um, weapon systems into operation. I'm not a, I'm not an Air Force officer. I can't honestly tell you whether that's a really significant constraint or not. But clearly, we need to be practical about this. Mm. But which is why I said as many as possible, as quickly as possible. And you would agree with that? Yeah, absolutely. And you would you would do you believe though, as, a, as an intelligence specialist who has watched. Russia, up close and reasonably personal. Do you think Putin's position is in jeopardy inside Russia, maybe from hardliners in Russia? Um, I think uh, we talk about that 30th September video he made as as the hostage video. You know, he, he clearly is not completely in control of events, but regrettably, the principal threat to his position is from the hardliners, not from people who object to the war. In principle, um, and I think when and if he gets moved on, the chances are he would be replaced by someone who's as difficult to work with, um, if not more, although it's difficult to imagine. 